Hi there! In this video I'm going to show you how to make matching mini tassels. So let's get started. The first thing I've done is I've cut myself a uh, little template and so basically I've got my center line and I've got two inches either side of that because I want a two inch tassel and then I've added about a quarter of an inch, 70 um, millimeters, just so that I've got a little bit of excess for trimming. Okay, so now I have to decide, I've got my trimmings table, I've put a bit of um, card here so that it doesn't um, glare too much, it reflects as you can see here and you end up seeing my lights and nothing else. So basically what I need to do is I need to measure out to a peg and I want four of these tassels so I'm going to come back down and I'm going to measure out again. Okay so any fixed point will work. This is a, a, a good method for a lot of mini tassels but they should be fairly mini. I do think that um, two inches is about the max that you should do about with this technique. So now I need to take my thread. So this is another reason for using a dark, darker guard so that you can see it because this is white. And what you want to do is just keep winding. Now remember the best tassels have a lot of thread. Wind your uh, tassels, uh, wind your thread so that it's about half the thickness that you want your final tassel to be because you're going to fold this over so it will be double. Now you'll want to dampen the threads where you need to tie. So for the first one, you want to tie at that center part. This will give you, um, this, this will stop all of this bit being wasted because otherwise it would be wasted. And I'm going to use the silk again as my binding cord. You can wet the silk or you can wax it. I like to wax it. So I'm going to take a length, I'm going to double it over and then just run it through some wax. It just works for me. But all of this uh, wetting helps to compress the threads more tightly when you're tying it. So you're going to tie it as tight as you possibly can. You want those to really stay in there well. Okay, so the next one has to be tied at that again because we're going to cut here so that gives us one tassel here and so we want to tie up here okay
Okay, all tied. Now these particular tassels, I want them to have a small loop. Um, so I've made a cord already, very fine cord. And I want that to be included in these tassels. Now, ordinarily, these small tassels are decorative um, on other tassels. So they tend to be made with simply a cord like this, that this is then attached to the other item. So instead, what I'm going to do is make um, some little loop cords, okay? And I'm just going to, it's a bit awkward, but I'm going to tie myself a loop, okay? So I'll give myself a little bit of spare and tie myself a double knot. I don't need it to be too tight. Um, on the, the warp, I just want to get this loop on. So there's one, and that's held in place a little bit better. I'm going to do a second little tie there, and then I'm going to trim this because I want four tassels. I'll do two this side because I've got two knots this side. Usually I do tie a knot before I cut. That was rather silly. Tie again. Tie again. And then usually what I do before I tie a cord that I've twisted, because unless you let them rest for a good period of time, they will want to untwist. I will tie a knot. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to just slide that out now. I've got two on this side. And I'll repeat. So they're just dangling there free. Okay. And I will do the same this side. Right. What you need to do, you know that that's going to be sort of cut and folded along here. Okay. Now with this one, we need to make a mark here or pin. Pin's usually sufficient just to give you an idea where you're going to be cutting. Okay. So this one, we know we're going to cut right on the corner uh, on the edge of this. And so this one, put that over there, we're going to cut about there. Now this is why you give yourself the extra room. Okay, and so now I'm just going to cut. It's a good idea to use some really sharp scissors if you have them for this. Um, you need to hold it and then cut them, okay? For managing, you can go ahead and wet all of them if you want before you cut them, just to make it a little bit easier. If you're spraying, it's much easier to do that, of course. So I'll take that out. We're going to cut there. That's a bit better, not so much glare for you. Okay, so basically what you now have is you have a little loop, you have your knot, and you have tassel ends. So all that you need to do is position your knot of your loop 
fact, I'm going to cut that knot up now so that that can unravel. Position the knot of your loop, what will be the inside of the tassel. So you want the knot of both the tie and the tassel to line up so that you can just go ahead and smooth down the threads over the top. And that will cover up the knots and cover up the knot of the hanging cord. It's a good idea, if you can, to use a comb to um, smooth down your threads. You don't always need to, but it does help if you do. So, a little comb. And if you can do that at this stage, you can get quite a lot of your threads really nicely lined up. I don't know, I just think it looks better. So you need to grip the tassel firmly in your hand, okay? first thing to do is get yourself I like to start with a piece of linen because that's a bit stronger and I'll wax it and then double it over okay so smooth down those threads hold this so that the loop is facing down towards the tassel end and take one of the ends and wrap it tightly around your tassel. Tight as you can go. Okay, and that's forming the head of your tassel. And flick up that little loop and place that end that's been wrapped around inside and then pull up and that sinks the thread underneath. Now the reason that I do this with linen first is because I then like for this one to tie that into a knot. But that's not the prettiest thing that you will see on your tassel so you don't necessarily want to, to see that. So I try to make it as small of a knot as possible. I lay, instead of on top, I'll lay it to the side of the previous tie, just so that I've got a little bit of extra. And then I'll repeat the same thing again with silk and cover that over entirely and probably a little bit more silk. But I won't wax the silk. I want to keep it nice and shiny. So I won't fold this entirely in half because I want to have longer um, length to wrap. Start at the top, wrap nicely and evenly, working down towards the skirt. And then for the decorative wrap, still take it through, pull that so that that comes underneath. What I tend to do is this 
end that was the loop, I will thread it onto a needle and I will plunge it down into the tassel and not cut it. And then this end, I will just leave as the tassel. Now, if I'm doing a different color, obviously I can't do that. And I will then um, also sink that through. So there's the one. And let's get the rest of these made. When you get to the side that has the loops, obviously you're going to need to cut those before you fold over. And now it's time to trim. Now something that um, I have found works really, really well is to either get some uh, paper or um, you can use cling film, something like that, something to compress everything in so that you can cut more easily. Now, my newest thing is Hugo's Amazing Tape, which I had to special order. It's an American thing. Um, you can get it over here in the UK, but you do have to look for it. It's not sort of easy to find. And it's like a plastic that sticks onto itself. I like this for two reasons, mainly that I can use it not only in this part of the tassel, but I can also keep the tassels tidy um, if I'm transporting it. So it basically is plastic that sticks onto itself. So if you wrap really tightly and make sure that your tassel is as even as possible when you do so, that wraps in on itself and it does make the initial cut much easier when you're working your tassel. So you can measure out and say, okay, well that's two inches and I wanna to go to there. You can slide that down to about where you want it. A little bit more, I think. And then you just cut across. I really should be using some larger scissors to do this, but and I wouldn't have all these little bits to do. You can see that you can get really quite a nice finish. You will have to trim it when you take this off. You can't just leave it like this and then that's it because when you trim it off and you fluff it up, you'll probably find that there's the odd one hanging down. But on the whole, there's a nice finished tassel and a bit of steam will do all the wonders as well. I really like really believe in steaming my tassels when I finish. So it's just a really simple little tassel. So I will carry on and do the rest of these in the same way.
So I'm going to go ahead and steam these and smarten this one up where we've got some short bits. I'll go in with uh, my scissors and trim out those. Anything that's too short or um, just not laying the way that you want it to. But steam it first because if it's deep enough in there, it could just be that it's poking out and it just needs steaming. Now when I steam, I steam... Um, you have to be careful, obviously, you're holding on to it. So it's a good idea to use a stick or something and sort of hang them over the steam. I tend to use the steam from the kettle. I also usually take my comb along and comb it down at the same time. 